The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear, and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today our Lord Jesus Christ encounters this man who is both deaf and has a speech impediment. And so the Lord takes him outside the city, touches his ears, spits on his tongue, and he says the words, Ephatha, be opened. And the man's ears are opened and his tongue is loose. He's able to both hear and to speak. Now, everything our Lord does has meaning and purpose. And so this moment of our Lord, his, his actions are symbolic of what will be the sacraments, how the sacraments touch the body, and yet through the body, the soul, and opens the soul to the workings of God. So but this particular act of our Lord is repeated in a certain way at every single baptism. At baptism, there is the moment where the priest blesses the ears of the child and the mouth of the child and says, Basically, be opened, ephatha. This particular small rite of baptism is actually called ephatha, be opened. And the Lord says, uh, the priest says, <laughs> may the Lord open your ears to hear his word and your mouth to proclaim his truth to the glory of God. And so after the child is baptized, after the child is anointed, after the child receives these beautiful gifts, the priest cries out, Ephatha, be opened. The priest has already clothed the child in the white garment as a symbol of their baptismal dignity that they have just received the state of grace. The candle has been lit and handed to the parents or godparents in the proclamation that they are to make sure that the light that the child was given at baptism is carried. But then the child is blessed, both on his ears and his mouth, with the words, Ephatha, be opened. We ask our Lord when we baptize children to open the ears of the child or the adult, but to open the ears that we can truly hear the word of God. To hear is to discern. To hear is to discern the words of God from all other noise and then be obedient to it. To hear in scripture is not just a matter of listening, but it's a matter of obeying. How many times have your parents said to your children, are you listening to me? And they say, I hear you, right? But they're not doing what you ask them to do. They're hearing your words, but they're not listening in the fact that they're not obeying, right? So you ask, are you listening? They say, I hear you. Uh, sometimes you're speaking to them and they're playing video games or watching YouTube or doing whatever they're doing. And uh, to them, you sound like the parents from the Peanuts. Right? They hear noise, but they're not obeying. In the scriptures, when our Lord speaks about listening, he speaks about obeying. As we bless the child's ears and say, Afatha, be open, we are praying that that child will not only be able to hear the voice of God, but also to obey the voice of God, to do the will of God in their life so that they can reach the glory of the kingdom of heaven and bring that white garment unstained, bring that candle, that flame of faith alive into the glory of the kingdom of heaven. And so we pray, Afatha, over their ears, to not just hear the voice, but to obey the voice of God with joy, with excitement, knowing that what God asks of us is always good, 
always sacred, always holy, would always lead to everlasting joy. We bless the lips. We say, Afatha, and we say, may your, your mouth be open to speak the word of God to the praise of God. So not only do we have to hear the word, but where lips are blessed to speak the word of God. That without fear, we should be able to proclaim the truth of what God has done for us. The truth of God's love for humanity. The truths of our faith, to be able to profess it with our lips. As we hear and do the will of God, we're able to speak the beauty of that God whom we hear and obey. To proclaim his love to all nations, to all people. That we not keep it to ourselves. That we branch out and proclaim to everyone the beauty of the glory of God. Ephatha, be opened. As time goes on, it happens so often that we run into such struggles in life and difficulties, crises of faith. Our ears get closed to hear the word of God. We don't hear. We get so caught up in our own interests, our own desires, what we think will make us happy, we don't hear. We don't obey. We may hear the word of God, hear the scriptures, hear our faith, and it sounds much like the parents and the peanuts. Whoa, 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 whoa. And our Lord is saying to us, are you listening to me? And we say, I hear you. And our Lord say, but are you listening? And so throughout our lives, we hit these struggles where our ears get closed and we fail to truly listen and obey the word of the Lord. And so we need to ask the Lord, like this deaf man today, to heal us, to touch our ears and to say again to us, Ephatha, be open. Too often times out of fear or out of just mere human respect, we don't speak the word of God. We don't profess our faith. Out of fear or out of human respect or for whatever other reason, we close our mouths and we don't speak the truth when it's necessary. We don't speak up when we're supposed to. We don't share our faith when someone truly needs the sharing of our faith. And so out of fear or out of human respect or whatever other reason, we need the Lord to heal us again. We need to say, Lord, heal my speech. I have a stutter. I'm not speaking plainly about you. I'm failing to speak the truth about you. I've fallen mute when it comes to faith, Lord. And so the Lord needs again to touch our lips and say the words, Ephatha, be open. Today, we ask the Holy Spirit to renew within us this gift that was given to us at our baptism, that our ears may once again be healed, our lips once again be healed, that our ears and our lips be opened to hear the word of God and to proclaim it without fear to the glory of God. We may hear, listen, and obey the voice of God and speak it boldly, particularly into the darkness. May we speak the light into the darkness. May we speak the love of Christ into the hatred of this world. May we speak the truth in the midst of the lies. And may the world's ears be opened to hear, to obey, and respond. Ephatha, be opened. May God bless you.